Hello, Vinyl Community, George Allen, Vinyl LPs and CDs, and sometimes a little more. Um, today, I'm going to do a video on some thrift store pickups I got, and uh, kind of lucked out this time. I happen to mention in, uh, in one of my previous um, uh, videos about uh, where I live we have uh, two Goodwill stores and uh, I happen to be on the other side of town and I hit the second one and this one uh, is the one that uh, usually has a lot of uh, classical music uh, but I was in for a big surprise this time but I don't want to get ahead of the story first of all I ended up over on that side of town uh, because um, the post office by me, which is the main post office in my town, was just really jammed up. I mean, there were cars waiting to get in the parking lot because, you know, we're getting very close to Christmas. And I had something that had to get mailed. So I thought, you know what? I know the post office uh, over... A little bit, couple miles away, not that far, uh, is by the uh, university. And because uh, classes are just getting out there, they're finishing up. My uh, cousin's a professor there, and I was talking to him. And, and most classes are online anyhow. They have a few that uh, you can show up, still see the professor. But they have such uh, strict regulations uh, he opted to do all his teaching online uh, this past term. So I knew it was not going to be many people around. So I thought, you know what, I'll drive another two miles. Uh, nuts with all these uh, people, you know. And it paid off. I got over there, hardly anybody at that post office. So I got my package mailed. And I thought, well, you know what, I'm over here now. I think I'm going to check out what's going on. So on the way to that uh, Goodwill... I remembered that there was a Habitat for Humanity uh, resale store. Now, I've taken some building materials there, but I never went and looked around. And uh, so I thought, I'll stop in there, see if they have some other stuff for sale. So I went in, asked a nice young lady. I said, hey, do you have uh, records and CDs for sale? She said, yeah, we got some stuff in the back there. So I went and looked, checked the records first. Of course, they didn't have a whole lot. Found one record, and I'll show you that. And uh, CDs, found some good stuff. I'll show you them. And from there, then, I headed on out to Goodwill. So, I'm going to go through the CDs that I bought. And got me a stack of them. And uh, all for a dollar a piece. Very good. Between Goodwill and a human, Habitat for Humanity resale store, uh, George Allen made out like a bandit. So the first one I'm going to show, Blue October, foiled. Now this one, uh, uh, Roberts, uh, on the turntable, just talked about this one uh, maybe a week, week and a half ago. And I thought, that's the way he described it sounded very interesting. Um, so I thought I was fortunate to be able to pick it up and uh, listen to a few, cut, few cuts. Sounds pretty good. And uh, so I was really uh, happy to be able to pick this up. Uh, kind of a hard rock band. I think he mentioned that they were out of, out of Texas. So I haven't checked in too much. I listened to a little bit of it, like it a lot. For a buck, I was happy to get it because I was going to go online after the holidays and um, try and pick up, pick up some of these guys stuff but this is the one he talked about and liked it bought it for a buck um, I should have put these in some sort of order because uh, well let me talk about this one here um, Grateful Dead fans I found Phil Leash and Friends, you know, Phil Leash with Grateful Dead, 
This is his um, one of his solo works. Very, very good CD. Listen to some of this. I like it a lot. And Warren Haynes is with him on this. And uh, these guys are really rocking out. Great, great CD. Uh, Warren Haynes wrote a couple of tracks on this. Uh, Phil Leash and um, Robert Hunter wrote some of the others. Robert Hunter writing lyrics like he did with uh, The Grateful Dead. Outstanding CD. A buck. Um, now, for some of the gems. Herbie Hancock. This is the drum. Now, <laughs> I picked this up because of Herbie Hancock. But I have to say, this is much different Herbie Hancock than anything I've ever listened to. Um, listen to a couple tracks. Very, very different. Uh, I think it might take you some use, some getting used to. Uh, some of you out there might be more familiar with all of his work. Um, I'm more used to his jazz type stuff. This is more African beat type stuff. Very African beat type stuff. And a uh, little bit of Latin influence. But more, uh, more African beat type stuff. Very interesting. I also picked up Herbie Hancock. One called Possibilities. This is, this is excellent. It's got some very different... Again, this is different for Herbie. But, you know, Herbie's not one to stand on, uh, uh, I guess, doing things the way everybody else does. Uh, he does stuff with um, on here with Santana. That, that cut is excellent. I listened to that. Uh, Christina Aguilera, uh, she sings on this like I've never heard her sing. Does one with Johnny Lang. I didn't get to listen to that cut yet. That ought to be pretty good. John Mayer. That's not too bad. Uh, looking forward to listening to this a little bit more. I kind of like his more standard jazz stuff, I think. Um, I picked up one by, this was, didn't excite me too much, but I picked it up because it was a buck. U2, uh, the Joshua Tree. Uh, I don't know. These guys can let me know what you think about that. Uh, Bruce Hornsby. I'm looking forward to listening to this. Uh, the Harbor Lights. Bruce Hornsby. Kind of a neat cover. I've had some Bruce Hornsby stuff in the past. Uh, I don't know. This one I've listened to. It's very good. It's called um, Slide Hampton and the Jazz Masters. I've listened to a couple cuts of this. Very, very good. This is dedicated to Dizzy Gillespie. And uh, I like this a lot. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Bunch of uh, really good uh, jazz guys. Like it a lot. Very good CD. Slide Hampton and the Jazz Masters. Okay. In the jazz field, also got a Grover Washington. Called Next Exit. Some of these cases, uh, they just don't want to open. Not that not listened to this at all yet. I, I have a lot of Grover Washington uh, stuff. Excuse me, Grover Washington Jr. And um, the only thing that disturbed me about this was looking at the credits. It's um, all the drumming is programmed, and I'm not real hot on drumming program. Being a drummer, you're not real hot on that. Hootie and the Blowfish, Fairweather Johnson. Um, I've heard other Hootie and the Blowfish stuff. Having lived in South Carolina for a while, you think I'd be really on to this Hootie and the Blowfish. I like some of their stuff. But I bought, it was a buck, and it was in excellent condition. I actually picked up one Christmas CD, and I only got it because it's George Winston, December, and this stuff is usually, not listened to it yet, but I will today. 
uh, George Winston's stuff, uh, Wyndham Hill is always uh, very good. Uh, it's usually uh, very melodic, very peaceful. That's why I picked this up. Uh, George Winston. And uh, I just thought, well, this would be a good addition to our Christmas music. And uh, so I picked that up. So that's all the CDs I got for a buck. Now, on to the vinyl I got. I'll show you the one I, one record I got at Habitat. And I'm glad I picked it up. Everything else there was a mess. I mean, the other records <laughs> tore up. This one gem, perfect condition, Jackie Gleason. Vinyls in perfect condition. Jackie Gleason presents a taste of brass for lovers only. So, showed it to my wife and she says, oh yeah, yeah, for lovers only, okay. And, um, you know, Jackie Gleason stuff typically is very good. So, haven't had a chance to play it yet. Looking forward to it. The two I picked up at Goodwill, it's happy to get. This one I... I found this one at the bottom of the pile, been probably ignored for several years. Ted Heath and his music, big band, Kern. I have no idea what that is reference to, because there's no explanation here. Um, did a little investigating. Ted Heath evidently was the Glenn Miller of um, Great Britain after the uh, Second World War. He was very popular in the 40s and 50s. And uh, I did play this. It sounds terrific. Uh, and it is kind of like a Glenn Miller, Guy Lombardo type big band. Uh, lots of brass. Sounded good. The uh, Percussion, the drums, bass, wonderful sounding record. Uh, Richmond High Fidelity said it's a division of London Records, although this was pressed in the U.S. Excuse me, pressed in the U.S. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> so anyhow, this is a very interesting. Uh, nothing on the back, just a list of a whole bunch of other stuff. Very good. Very good album. Glad I picked that one up. And I also picked up James Taylor and uh, Mudslide Slim. And uh, on the back of it says, and the Blue Horizon. And this is on Warner. And this was also, believe it or not, this also was in uh, like mint condition. Maybe I'll show it to you. Huh? I should have showed you the other one. So I'm getting lazy. Oh, it has an inside. It's a gatefold. You know, sometimes it just surprises me how this, um, some of this stuff, it's got the lyrics on the inside. Um, oh, Carol King plays on this piano. How about that? Piano Carol King. Uh, of course, James Taylor plays acoustic guitar, drums, Russ Kunkel. Oh, pretty hefty guys. Oh, wait a second. Peter Asher plays tambourine. <laughs> you know, when I was in when I was in college, and this stuff came out, I didn't really buy too much of it. Because, uh, George Allen, now it's confession time. I was into the heavier stuff. I was into the heavier stuff. And, you know, the girls were into James Taylor. And, uh, you know, wow, we didn't listen to 
we didn't listen to the fluff. And James Taylor was fluff, you know. So that was back when this stuff came out. And so that being said, you know, we were rockers. And, uh, you know, the ladies, they listened to, you know, James Taylor, Carly Simon, and, uh, anyhow, I don't want to say any more because I'm going to put my foot in my mouth and get in a big trouble. So, <laughs> that's it for today. Hope you have a, uh, great week. If something else comes up, maybe I'll do on Friday. I'm going to be going away next week, going back to the Lone Star State of Texas to visit with my wife's family. So maybe I'll have one for Friday. I don't know. Depends on what comes up or something else peculiar. I have some stuff that's supposed to be coming in. So I had ordered a bunch of jazz stuff. And these guys, you get they get your order and they sit on it. You know, and you email them and say, hey, I ordered this stuff three weeks ago. What are you doing with it? You know, well, everybody's busy. So anyhow, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.